Well, today's critter is a peaceful one and graceful when she flies. And trust me, she flies. Joining us for Critter Day is Miller Park Zoo in Bloomington. And we have education specialist Shannon Reedy and Dawn the Dove joining us now. Hi. Hello to you both. How are you? I'm feeling more peaceful in the presence of Dawn. Isn't it wonderful? She just exudes. A beautiful bird. <laughs> and of she course, is. Um, our viewers missed this, but right before we got the show started, yeah. Dawn was flying around. Well, and it's likely she will okay. at this point. You know, she'll get, she, she really likes this place. She's gotten very comfortable very quickly, so she's a star. <laughs> now, it's intentional that she's able to fly. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, I gotta tell you, normally when we have a bird we use for education programs, we're going to trim their feathers so that they aren't as able to fly because it is just a little disturbing to some folks to have a bird flying around the bird, you know, that sort of thing, unless it's planned and trained. Um, but Dawn has extremely solid muscle structure, and she can fly no matter what we do with her feathers. So we just decided, well, okay. <laughs> Dawn is a free bird. She's a free bird, and now she's being her puppy dog self and wants a scratch on the back. She's, she's just funny. Dawn plays a funny bird. little thing. Just kidding. Okay, do you I think know, she can come over to me or he? She, this is a she. Okay. Yep. You want to fly? You going to fly? You oh. like that? Oh, heads. It's always the head. She likes the head. What is with the head? <laughs> Is it the perspective that the dog? I think it's a height thing. I do. She's usually going for the tallest person in the room, and you're like, you're a few yeah. inches taller than me. She also likes brunettes. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I get you, Don. Thanks. <laughs> Although blondes do have more fun. <laughs> okay, so tell us a little bit more what's going on at uh, Miller Park Zoo. Well, we have Christmas coming this weekend, actually. Really? Um, we've expanded our. Um, our wild lights event, we've had that for the last several years. We have luminarias throughout the grounds and um, some light displays and lighting on the fences and some blow ups and noisemakers and there's a pig that oinks Merry Christmas or something. I don't really. really. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> yeah, no, it was pretty sweet. So it's a great time to just come out and get a different perspective um, in, the, in the evening time at the zoo. Um, so we're having that this weekend on Friday and Saturday night and also next weekend, Friday and Saturday night. We usually just have it one weekend. This, this year it's two. Okay. Um, it is limited to, with reservations, so you need to call ahead and get your time spot. And people are just welcome to put their mask on and walk around and enjoy the animals and the lights. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. But there's also this safari. Well, winter safari. winter safari, we like to do day camps when the kids are out of school. So we have our winter safari camp over holiday break. Um, we, had, we have, um, oh, there oh goes here she goes. Now she's, I love when she makes her cooey noises. Me too. I hope you guys heard that. Um, well, she, uh, Dawn might be present. I haven't decided yet. She might get to go to camp. Uh, I hope she does. But it's for elementary age kids, um, 6 to 11. Um, just get them a chance to get out of the house and, and mom and dad a chance to relax while the kids are on break because they're around a lot and they've been around a lot and maybe just a day at the zoo is a good idea. So we have uh, those fill up fast. We've got a couple days full already, but we have one day we, could st we have still some space. So we'd love to see everybody out. It must mean a lot to you to get to connect with these families at this time. You know, the zoo is a great place where people can spread out and, and be safe, um, but it also brings people so much joy. Kids love animals. Parents love animals. Yep. So what yep. is it meant to you? Well, and I think it's interesting because a lot of people have they're thinking out of the box as far as their personal experiences. And so it's not only the parents with kids wanting to come out, it's adults that are thinking, what else can I do? What else? I've got to do something else. And so they remember the zoo, which is such a fabulous place for adults. You know, you get to have your own experience. You get to read that sign if you want to. You get to stare at this animal, the bald eagles, for an hour if you care to. You know, there's a lot of things that, that are available for, for us to just, I think we're all taking a breath in this last several months. I know myself personally, it's been, you know, um, demanded. <laughs> you know, we all have had to, but I think it's good for us. And I, and I think the zoo's been a great therapeutic way for us to, to do that and enhance our, our experiences, so, yeah. Well, whether it's the power of a bald eagle or the peace <laughs> of our dove friend here, dove, <laughs> dove the, Dawn the Dove. Dawn the Dove, she's looking, look at that bat. See how she does her angel wings. Wow. When you give her her little scratch. I would want to put that on a bar of soap. That's so <laughs> okay, guys. Well, thank you so much, and I appreciate your time. Of course. Thank you for having us. If anyone needs any more information on Miller Park Zoo, we will connect you online at ciliving.tv.